Charlie Parker, one of the most famous jazz musicians, once said about music, learn the rules, master your instrument, then forget everything and just play. My name is Alan Sobel, and I'm a first-generation Israeli from Los Angeles, currently teaching at Sichuan Conservatory of Music, Popular Music Academy, Jazz Department in Chengdu. Jiao In my classes, we often use music theory to explain how music is constructed and make connections with other music. Charlie Parker talks about the rules of music, but he broke a lot of rules. That's why his music was so amazing and revolutionary. And really, even he knew there are no rules in music. There are not even really guidelines. Uh, so music theory is instead an attempt to explain what happened in music systematically and logically by identifying repeating patterns and explain how we as listeners uh, often uh, hear them. So, for example, if I play this, perhaps we expect this. It sounds nice, right? Or I can play this. So these chord progressions are traditional examples of harmonic arrangement. Um, we can basically break it down as uh, we create an expectation, we add tension, zhang li, and then we resolve that tension by fulfilling the expectation. So these chord progressions uh, are traditional and um, they are expected, but that doesn't mean they're a rule. See, a rule means that you always have to do something, and if you don't do it, you'll get in trouble. But in music, there's no police. There's just the police. So you can do whatever you want, really. I mean, actually, the uh, police's most famous song um, every breath you take, the bridge is totally unexpected and breaks the rules, and it's the best part of the song. It's the most memorable. So, you know, you can play whatever you want. You can even do this. That sounds maybe terrible, right? Uh, some person clapped. Maybe he's a free jazz fan. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that I am not a free jazz pianist. I'm barely even a pianist. I was just playing random notes. Shh, don't tell anyone. But is playing random notes meaningless? I think it's not. It expresses something, and that something is not nothing. So what's the difference between, uh, for example, this, and this. Maybe you think the first one uh, expresses some kind of elegance and uh, it's pleasant sounding, and maybe the second one you think it's messy and doesn't make any sense. Well, the point is music uh, is like life, and sometimes life doesn't make any sense. Sometimes life is messy. So, just like life, music sometimes does not always follow our expectations. COVID broke a lot of my expectations, and uh, disappointment and anxiety are feelings I experienced a lot during the last few years. And since music is a reflection of life, uh, how can I express that? Well, I can try to break the rule or defy the expectation. So I want to tell you about how COVID broke my expectations. 
in January of 2020, I flew back to Los Angeles. Uh, that's my favorite beach in Los Angeles. A few days after I arrived, COVID broke out. And I originally intended to be there for just 10 days, and I ended up staying for 10 weeks living out of one suitcase. I didn't know what the future would hold. And when I came back to China at the airport, I saw all the people with masks and hazmat suits walking solemnly through the security lines. And um, this, this haunting melody came into my mind. I'm going to play it for you now. How's the translation so far? After I landed in China, uh, I was quarantined for three weeks in this hotel and uh, watching the world go by outside my window without me. Even practicing was hard. I battled a lot of tough days of anxiety and depression and loneliness. Even the food was depressing. And I felt stuck, I felt trapped, I felt unsettled. I wasn't sure if I made the right choice to come back. So to express that feeling for the intro of the song that uh, I heard the melody uh, for, I, I reach into the back of my mind and I try to think of what's the saddest loneliness set of chords I knew. No tension, no resolution, just repeating over and over like the feeling I had when I was uh, stuck in that hotel room. And I came up with this. Can you feel that? Ganjo Dama, yes. So, 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 so let's come back to the first chord that I played, this one. Um, to express the, the feeling of uh, anxiety, I, I could add tension like this, and then perhaps we expect something like this. But what if I do this instead? I start here, tension, anxiety, and then this, more tension, more anxiety. And then I'm back to this tension again. But this time, I set up the expectation, but I go here instead. Love how creepy that is. And then I can set up another expectation in the traditional way, like this. And maybe here. And then what we expect to hear is something perhaps like this. And then finish here. Right? But what I did instead was I did this. Here. I don't even know what this chord is called. And then here. So even that last resolution is so not resolved. And the reason why I chose those chords is because they fit the melody I heard in my mind at the airport that day. And um, I'll play for you maybe like a more traditional way of uh, how someone might uh, harmonize that melody. And then I will play for you uh, the way that I did it.
So that sounds right. It sounds good. It's within the rules we learn about harmonic motion and voice leading. But it doesn't convey the emotion that I want. Uh, well, maybe it conveyed uh, stability, purposeful direction, and a peaceful arrival. But I didn't experience any of that in my journey back here. I wanted to convey anxiety, uncertainty, and a feeling of uh, unresolved. So now let me play for you that same melody, but with the, uh, the chords that kind of break the rules and um, defy expectations. How even the ending was unresolved, unsettled. If uh, one of my students did that on their homework, I would probably mark that as an F. Wu Shi Jiao Fen, Bu Ji Ge. Because it's an improper resolution. But sometimes in life, uh, we don't get a resolution. We try to do something and we fail. We try to go somewhere, we reach a dead end, or the result just confuses us more. So that's what we can do with music when we know the rules and patterns and we go against them. We have powerful emotional and storytelling tools when we do that. So I've shown you the first movement of uh, my COVID suite, but how does it end? You see, the quarantine ended, and uh, I was able to go outside again. I was able to meet my friends again. I could play music live again. Yay! And there's always two sides, like the polyhedron. It's multiple sides. There's the darkness, there's the light. And uh, the feelings we often have come from the same source. So I wanted to express that too. And uh, what would express that feeling of elation, that feeling of freedom? Well, I took the chords from the uh, beginning, this one, and uh, the one from the middle that I played for you first, this one, and then I combined them with the other one from that part, and that came up with that. It's uh, mm, hello from the other side. Yeah, that chord. And uh, I made a new song uh, from that. And um, I played it twice as fast because uh, tempo is another way that we can access emotion. Um, our hearts beat faster when we're excited. And um, well, listen to this. That's one way that we can uh, get some different kinds of emotions. So um, remember that sad and lonely melody from the flute? Well, the flute sounds uh, haunting and airy. But what if I played it instead on the saxophone, whose, uh, whose timbre sounds bold and bright? What would that sound like? And if I played it twice as fast, what would that sound like? Maybe something uh, like this. So now I'm going to play for you the um, third movement of the COVID suite with the saxophone, with the twice as fast tempo, and with the different chords, and see how it makes you feel. So, 
My debut album, Vicissitudes, uh, is available in all your soon-to-be-going-out-of-business record stores and streaming platforms. So um, I hope you will listen to that and enjoy. And, uh, you know, the point is that sometimes going in a different direction allows us to find the emotional language that playing by the rules can't. And uh, music's infinite potential to transcend language and tap directly into our emotions is what first drew me to music and uh, remains endlessly fascinating. Uh, music is a universal language that doesn't need any translation app. And so, I'm always interested about how to use musical elements like harmony, rhythm, or timbre to create an atmosphere or express a feeling and to tell a story through music. Thank you for listening to my music and thank you for listening to my story.